Let me re let me rephrase what I'm tr trying to say here. Um, SA1 has good voices overall, but the direction isn't really the greatest. With 06, the uh, voice acting itself um, is oh, the voice acting is uh, like passable at best, but the uh, direction. I feel like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. But yeah, it. I just feel like the uh, the voices in this game, they're. I think the voices are good, but the um, the, the the direction could have been better. That's what I'm trying to say with SA1. With 06, um, I the direction overall is like better. I I feel like there's um, I, I, it's kind of weird to say how the voices are more polished, but that's kind of one way to say it. I don't know. I don't know how to phrase it very well, but it feel, I feel like the, uh, uh, 06 has better voice editing. How about that? How about that? And the voices feel... Uh, the voices are probably like, the worst part about it. Like, the direction is overall better, but not by a lot. And But the uh, actual voices are just kind of bad. Like, this game, I don't know, it, it's kind of weird, but either way though, this is what another level where I can't, I can't really like understand why some people consider this game to be so much more open than SA2 because no level in SA2 was this linear. Like, come on, dude. Um, even stuff like what was it? Even stuff like Metal Metal Harbor had some ep sections that were pretty open, but for this. Most of it is pretty linear, like, this is the only section where you have, like, three different routes to take, but even then, why would you even bother to take the others? But, um... But yeah, most of it is just kind of a race track in a sense. Which, it does work, like, I'm not saying that it always has to be, um, balanced between, uh, speed platform and exploration, like, I'm not saying that's a law of Sonic design, but... It's kind of, like, overly done with the speed here. I, I don't know, but... For, I, I've said this over, over and over again, but I feel like the best balance for a, for a Sonic game would be speed... Well, a good, a good balance would be speed and platforming. The exploration aspect, aspect is really just a bonus to me. Oh, also, we have a original fan character... I don't know, slails. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> All right. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Yeah, whenever you hear that, that's based. Whenever you hear like the guy saying, "Oh, the train's going to Station Square" or something, that it's usually your cue to go back. But yeah, let's see what else we have to do. I think it's the casino. Is it? I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. Or not. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, I... Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't... It's not too hard to find where you need to go. Like, if you are kind of lost, and you can talk to, talk to Takal. But, even then, the game does give you a decent, decent amount of good direction to where you need to go anyway. So, it's not too bad. Now you've got light speed shoes. You just Press and hold sometimes the you just have to be just paying power. attention to the cutscene. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. Mm -hmm. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Yep. And just hit this button. And yeah, this is a really like kind of eh. Version of the spit of the uh, 
light dash, like the light speed dash, because as you know in other games, you can just um, press the button and you instantly just fly along a trail of rings. And we'll, we'll, I'll be getting a upgrade for the light, light speed dash right now, but yeah, it's not too much better. But yeah, I just, it's a, I mean, I like, I kind of like the light dash as a concept, but I, the, uh, trying to get it to work has never been, like, been really consistent, but, yeah. Honestly, I think this is one of the games that has it this the most the consistent, because you this actually have to aim and charge it and all that. Like, the way it works in this game just makes it kind of, uh, re a lot more reliable, in my opinion. Because in the other games, you kind of have to have, like, exact timing. So, yeah. Okay, I was... For some reason, I thought we met up with Amy now. Like, that... Like, when it was, like, uh, Sunset, I thought it was, like... You had to meet up with Amy, but... That's not for a long... Well, it's not for a little bit longer. Because we're only at the start of the game already. Alright, so we have a casino level. Um... This is an in, in, interesting uh, idea for a level because here we have like an actual uh, pinball game. I don't think any other Sonic games like, actually did an actual pinball game before this. Like I know there are casino stages, but I think this is the first one that actually just makes an actual pinball game. But um, I could be wrong. Either way though, I don't. I'm not gonna actually play this. Basically, what you want to do is just keep, just lose, lose your balls. As funny as, as funny as that sounds, but I'll get, I'll get some from this. But um, I think if you lose your balls, and that's so weird to say, um, without getting a hundred rings, you go to like the the uh, underground sewer section or whatever. Um, and you can get so many rings from that. Yep, here, here we go, the sewers basically. And, I mean, it kind of looks cool when you jump. You have the uh, light dash on. But yeah. You're going to be finding a ton of ring boxes here, so it's really your best bet to uh, complete the stage because well, I haven't mentioned this yet, but you need. 400 rings to get the uh, Chaos Emerald here, and come on, get up. There we go. But um, yeah, you need 400 rings at least to get the be able to get to the Chaos Emerald because it's like in this little uh, section that you need to like basically put rings into this into this little machine, and like well, the more rings you put in, the higher you can get to. So yeah, you need at least 400 for this. Get more rings. But yeah, if you just go to this place once, you'll probably be near to 400 rings, if not like at that uh, requirement. Right, come on, let me get that. There we go. But yeah, I. I mean, it's not, it's definitely not my favourite stage in the game, but I do kind of like, oh gosh, I do kind of like the uh, secondary casino, uh, casino uh, game, and I, yeah, I said the second one, because there's not only just a Sonic one, Sonic themed one, but there's also a nut, okay, don't get hit, that's the, that's like a crucial uh, thing to keep in mind, obviously, but yeah. Yeah, look how close we are already. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, here's an interesting little thing. If you go here, you can actually take a shower. It doesn't add anything, but... It, it, it gives the game a little bit of character, I guess. If, if that's the right way to call it. If that's what you... Uh, should call it. But yeah, I... I don't know. I like it when games go the extra mile for like detail like that but yeah all right so now we go here try and deposit as many rings as you can yep so you just go on this machine uh switch here 
and just get all your rings taken out of you. That must have been painful, man. But yeah, we're a little bit a little bit short, so I'm gonna be showing off the knights uh, pinball, which is which is right here. Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> uh. I guess I can just show this off again, because I didn't actually play the proper pinball game, but, um, yeah, there's really not much I can say about the pinball here, because it's, it's pinball, what do you expect me to say, it's what you really ex should expect from pinball, like, you just hit all these different things, you get points or rings in this case, and just go for as many rings as possible, really, and go, go in the slot machines. And hope that you get a good mix. Or a, uh... Yeah, like that. It doesn't have to be in the middle. Or, like, three in a, in a row. It can just... It can be, like, in, um... Like, diagonal. Diagonal. Like, if I got the tails diagonally, it would have still counted. So, yeah. But, yeah, you can also go to little secret areas like this. And it's kind of weird, hard to get this... Oh, man. Yeah, I've never been able to do this correctly, but yeah, that I think. <laughs> and now we're just kind of getting a bunch of rings, I guess. Alright. Let me try and get up. Can I get up here again? No. Yeah, you need more speed. Or I can just fall. That works too. I don't know if I want. I don't really want to spend too much time in this place because I want to get. I want to show off knights, and if I stay here for too much, too much longer, uh, it's gonna drag this level out a lot more than I really need to drag it out for. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of fall out because <laughs> you kind of see what this level or this pinball table entails, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it sends you straight to the depositing area, so. Alright, here we go. Cards and. Uh, card and pinball. Should be cards and pinball, but whatever. But, um. Yeah, basically, it's themed around nights, and you have to get uh, ma card matches, so. You just go around the pinball table like the other one, but. This one, you have to actually get the cards, as I previously said, and you have to get matches, so, yeah, you have to get the same card twice, and you get some, you get a bunch of rings from it, and I can't remember exactly how to open that door, I think you just have to get one match, and then the door over there opens where the arrow is, um, but, um, I could be wrong about that, but yeah, it, this... Area, it, th this area can be a little bit difficult to get around. Like, most of it is kind of just based on luck, which, to be fair, Pinball is, to an extent, based on luck, but still. And also, one thing I don't like about this, though, to, on, to be honest, is that after you fall, you can't, you like, your cards basically uh, delete themselves and you have to start over. And that kind of sucks, to be honest with you. And I didn't even get a bonus. I didn't even get a uh, two of the same cards, so that kind of sucked. But we can try again, or we can just fall. That works too. I'm getting like twice the amount of that of rings I need, but that's all good. Oh, cut! Oh, okay. I was gonna say, like, that would have been stupid if I actually fell there. <laughs> Alright, come on. Alright. I just want one. one dang. Uh, combo. Okay, let me get that. I wanna get that. Oh gosh. Yes! There we go. And now that place, that door's open up there, so if I... Okay, well, we're gonna get up there now. Or not. Wherever floats your boat game. I wanna get up there, man. 
The game's not letting me, and I feel sad. Oh man, please. I'm pl spending way too much time in this place. Oh, come on. I, I want to show this off. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to show it off. Oh, man. No matter how long it takes, I will do this. Even though it's kind of pointless. <laughs> right. It shouldn't be this hard, man. Like, come on. Yeah, you can also... Yeah. And like a pinball table, you can tilt it a little bit with the control stick. And that kind of influenced Sonic's movement a little bit. Not by much, but it can help if you're trying to get away from, like, falling out or something. Or you can just epically fail like that. Oh, man, I'm doing terrible with this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not the greatest with pinball, but, yeah. I mean, the controls are a little bit weird in this, so I don't know how to explain that, uh, that well, but it kind of feels like a mix of floatiness and, uh, like, what was it? It feels kind of floaty and, um, stiff at the same time, which is a weird combination. I don't know, though. Alright, we got, we got our combo, so I just need to fill this card combination out and be, we can be done. Oh, okay. Can I please just get up there? I really want to get up there, man. Alright, alright. No. Dude, really now. Alright, yes, yes. Oh, really? I was up there, man. Really? The, the, the amount of rings I have is stupid. It's like I'm playing Sonic Unleashed. Alright. Huh? Oh, okay, I got something on that, but I didn't really care. Come on. No, okay. I keep on like touching the side. Also, oh, it looks like. I don't know why, but those, like, lights going around kind of looks like... Okay, no, it's just a random clock. I always thought it was just, like, Eggman just going around randomly here. Don't know why, but... Please don't tell me that the place runs out of time. Like, disappears after a certain amount of time. Because that would suck. Alright. Yes, finally. Okay. Oh, man, we got... A lot of stuff in that. But yeah, this is a bonus area. Basically, there are, uh, as you can see here, there are tons of cards and you just kind of go crazy while Sonic is going insane right now. But yeah, you just kind of go crazy with the amount of cards you get. And if you fall here, you don't get a fallout, uh, for fortunately. So yeah, you don't have to worry about that. And it just kind of transports you to the normal area with this cool little, um, like, area, I don't know how to call it, but you kind of just go around this nice inspired area, and it kind of looks, it looks pretty cool. And also, if you, I think if you bounce yourself high enough here, you can go to a really, if it, I don't know what it's doing right now. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> that was kind of, that was kind of weird. I, 
don't think it, they intended you to do that that way, but yeah, as you go high enough, you can just go to this little pointless section here. It, it doesn't really affect anything to my knowledge, but yeah, you can just go around with knights, fly around because Sonic can apparently fly, and yeah, that's a thing. Oh man, okay, well, I think we spent enough time here, don't you? You just go around here. I really need to play Knights, actually. It's, um, there are so many games I haven't played yet. Like, there are so many games I need to play. But, yeah, time, money, yeah. Especially since I'm doing a traineeship course at the time of this recording. By the time this goes up, that will be... Uh, the training part of the course will be done. I'll be do it, probably doing the, uh, the working experience part when this is going up, but yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment of this recording. Uh, I'm just going to get one more pair because why not? I'm right next to one, but yeah, after that I'm just going to leave. Two pair, nice. I didn't mean to go back up. Okay, whatever. I guess we're doing this again. I mean, or not. <sighs> that was crap. Alright, whatever. Let, let's just end this, because I... When I get into this, I just want to keep playing, but for the sake of the LP, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna drop out. Because I don't think you guys want to just see me do this for hours. Okay, not... Okay, I'm not that crazy, but... It would go on for... A lot longer than 15 minutes. I'll just say that. Because I... I actually like pinball. Like, I'm not the greatest at it, but I do like uh, playing pinball, so... Yeah. Alright, let's... Try deposit all these... As you can. I was about to say rupees for some reason. I'm, I'm in... I've been in a huge Zelda... Not binge, but... Kind of mood... I, I don't know, it's kind of weird. 1,000, 1,000... Yeah, 1,000, 1,000, yeah. 1,180-something. I can't read the last number. Yeah, not bad. Is she... 83, okay. I think that's the most I've gotten.